My name is Daniel Pritchard and I farm a 250 acre farm near Swansea and we farm the salt marshes. We first started using Zolvex about four or five years ago and we've been using it once a year ever since. Over the past few years we've typically used Zolvex coming into September. We generally start with a white wormer coming into when the lambs are about six to eight weeks old and then throughout the summer I'll do a faecal egg count and once the threshold reaches a certain level I'll go in with Zolvex to um, give them a clean wipe out. The worm resistance that's currently ongoing in Britain could be a very big problem for the sheep industry and I believe that farmers should be doing their best to try and limit as much resistance as possible on their farm. We use Zolvex as part of our worming programme due to there being no resistance on our farm to it so we know that even though it is slightly more expensive than other brands we get our value out of it. Uh, we've been actively monitoring for worm resistance for a few years now and we've had two independent reports commissioned on what our worm status is. We have known resistance to white wormers and the clear wormers at the minute. For us to slow down the resistance on this farm, we are faecal egg counting quite regularly, especially during the summer, and only treat animals once they've reached a certain threshold. After that then, if we are having to worm, we'll put the animals back to the same field they've been in for a day, just to pick up any uh, worms that are, are common on this farm. And then from then on, they'll be moved to fresh pasture, where hopefully they'll grow on. From when we bring the sheep in to treat the worms, we'll bring them up the race as slowly as we can. I'll then weigh the heaviest in the bunch to work out a weight, and then I'll calibrate the drenching gun for that weight and make sure everything's working correctly. Uh, so every year we buy in our breeding stock from a couple of different farms in Wales, and for that, when we quarantine them, we'll run them up the race again, we'll give them a fluke drench, we'll use Zolvex as the worm drench, and we'll put them through the foot bath a couple of times just to make sure there's no incoming diseases with them. Uh, and then from then on, they'll go to a field where they'll be separate from the main flock for at least a month before joining the rest. 